like you, Jack. But I'll kill you if I have to. Peace. Is everything all right? Ready? Who is it, Jack? Oh, come on, Brad. It's my daughter. She's only 18. Go and get her, love. Go and get her. Come on, Brad, please don't hurt Put your hand in the air and don't move. What's going on? You lying little bitch. You told us no one knew you were here. Can you get up? No, nah, not on my own. <sighs> Give me some water, Rosie. I'm so bloody thirsty. <sighs> Tap water. No bottled water in the fridge. I'm wearing one of your T-shirts, Jack. I can smell your no-name soap powder. You're a cut-price copper these days. What are we going to do with them? We take the girl with us. Why? Because I can't walk, sweetheart. I need someone to lean on. I can help you. We don't need anyone else. We don't need anyone else. Trust me. Okay. It was the good ship Hesperus, and she sailed the stormy sea. And the captain had taken his little daughter. To keep him company. Rosie's improved me reading. What do you think, Jack? Listen, Rosie. Rosie. Someone's going to come looking for him. If little Sophie's with us, then Dad here is going to give us plenty of leeway. If he's smart. Tell me it's not going wrong. No, Rosie. Rosie. Plan A went wrong. Now we're on plan B, right? We're gonna grab her car, we've got a fresh set of wheels waiting for us. It's gonna turn out just like we planned it, Rosie. Just like we planned it. You believe me? Do you believe me, Rosie? I don't believe you. Grab that cash, give me one of those guns over there. Right, she's gonna untie her. Now, if you do anything silly, I'm gonna shoot him. You got it? I hope she's fond of you, Jack. Cover her, Rosie. Right, come over here and help me up. Let's go. That bloke that was shot, nobody wanted that to happen. But it did. They know the score, Jack. I've got nothing to lose, but you? You have. Let's go. Hey, Chief. Did you sleep? Did you hear anything? Other than a few sightings. Nothing all dead ends. Ballistics have come through with a preliminary report on the bullet that killed the scuba diver. Yeah? It came from Sykes's gun. Come on, mate. They must have given you a destination. Oh, Mick, you're a champion. Uh, I want specific. Sir, corrective services call. Looking for you again? Well, that figures. They probably want their prisoner back. Oh, sir, I just... I got a hold of the uh, seaplane pilot who was supposed to pick Brett and Rosie up. The pilot said it was a honeymoon pickup, a romantic little flight across to Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Well, if you thought they were honeymooners, why didn't you wait? Well, he waited now. When they didn't show up, he left. 
Didn't he think that was a little bit odd? Oh, he didn't care. He'd been paid in advance. Hey, the woman's description matches Rosie. Yeah, but why Brooklyn? Why not? Well, it's a ten-minute flight, Chief. What sort of getaway is that? Uh, smarter than it looks. Gives them a few options. They can take the freeway, they can take the old Pacific Highway, they can head inland here up the Hawkesbury River, or they can go out here into Broken Bay and up to the Central Coast. No, I think they have it organised. Listen, that stolen car still hasn't been found. Also, the uh, morning papers tomorrow, they'll be running with front-page photographs of Brett and his girlfriend. Well, there's no guarantee that the stolen car's connected. It may be related to another incident. Brock, run the seaplane pilot through the computer. Listen, uh, Mrs Edmonds is downstairs. Mrs Edmonds. She's the widow of the diver that was just shot. Right, OK, now, I'll talk to her. Nick, where's Alex? Uh, not here yet. I uh, haven't seen her since yesterday. She went over to Jack's to have a word to Sophie. Get hold of her and get up to Brooklyn. Tell the local boys that Brett and Rosie may be on their way. Can I come down here? Eva. Come on. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. oh, this is going to hurt you more than it hurt me, right? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Shit. Mm -hmm. Go. Ah! A firing creek. Jack, here. My pocket, my pocket. Come on. Oh, stop. Oh, oh. Come on, Alex. Where the hell are you? Oh. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, stop. Yeah, press read off. Here. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, Ollie. Mick. Yes, Jack. Get over to my place now. Jack? They've taken Sophie. Is she hurt? She's got a head wound. She got slapped around trying to warn Alex. Donna. Jack, where are you? Are you all right? Yeah, look, just listen to me. Yeah, Brett and Sophie have taken the D's car. Yeah, now, I want you to put out a general alert. But look, if anyone spots the car, they're not to approach it. They've taken my daughter hostage. Understood, Jack. Do you want to talk to the boss? Yeah, just tell him I'm on the way in. You're going to have to go to hospital, Alex. No, I don't need to go to hospital. I'm fine. You got it. You got concussion. Oh, yeah. Sophie got hurt because she tried to pull a fast one. I just hope to God she doesn't try it again. Look, Brett's hurt and he's improvising, but he's not making it up as he goes along, Jeff. I want you to tell me that you're doing more than just putting a patrol car at every road out of town. Do me a favour, Jack. Don't tell me how to suck eggs. How's Alex? She's getting stitches. She fit for work? I don't know. Look, will somebody tell me that we're talking to his known associates, to his girlfriends, to anyone that ever knew him? Up the escape, yeah, this time, but he's escaped before, Jeff, and Rosie wasn't around then. Look, is anyone listening to me? He isn't running blind. He has a destination in mind. We had worked that one out, Jack. Good to see you in one piece, Jack. Oh, Helen, is there any sightings yet? Not yet, no. Nick, there's a briefing in the muster room. If Alex isn't fit, don't hang about. I want you at Brooklyn. OK. Look, I'll go, I'll go with him, Jack. First thing I want you to do is give us a statement. Then I want you at the briefing. Look, I've got a list here of all known associates, significant others, anyone, in fact, who was close to Brett at the time of his previous escape, and that includes former cellmates. Jack, do you think Brett will let Sophie go? Well, yeah, if he thinks he can run free. See, he knows Sophie's my daughter, but Rosie's the worry. She, she's an amateur with a gun in her hand. Now, that's why the diver got shot. Look, if Sophie makes one wrong move... Excuse me. I thought you could use this. Right, thanks, Donna. I'm sorry about your daughter. She's not just my daughter, you know. There's a family in Coffs Harbour with a stake Shit, in this. Jack, um, oh, I haven't phoned them. I really, no, I'll no, go and no, do no, it that, now. That's all right. Jack. That's all right. You said he'd be here with the car, Brett. He'll be here. He'll be here. Check the boot, love. Make sure she's got enough air, eh? Yeah, Mr. Ferguson. It's Jack Christie calling from Sydney. It's about your daughter, Sophie. But she's passed out. Take a gag off. Our first priority is, is Sophie's safety. We don't think that she's in any immediate danger. Um, look, 
Without going into the, the nature of the investigation, we hope to have it back safe within 24 hours. Okay, we're going to be conducting this operation in Brooklyn with the assistance of the local boys. Now, it's a holiday area, right? So there are lots of weekenders, many of them not used during the week. Now, I don't know. They may decide to hole up there or they may use it as a jumping off point. The place backs onto national parkland. Look, I know it feels like we're looking for a needle in a haystack, but Brooklyn does give us a target at least. Mick, can you hand these maps out? Sure. Thanks, mate. Okay, we're going to be covering the railhead. We'll cover the marina and we'll be talking to the real estate agents on the strip. If they've got somewhere to run to, then somebody organised it. Probably Rosie. Now please, make no mistake. These two have killed already. They are armed and they are dangerous. They've got Jack's daughter with them. Sophie Ferguson. If you see something, you report it in and you wait for instructions. I don't want any stuff ups on this. Jack? Um, yeah. Uh, Brett's uh, hurt. He's lost a lot of blood. He's going to need serious painkillers like, um, like morphine or, or pethidine. So they might hit a, a doctor's or a, or a chemist. Well, if Brett's hurt that bad, then who's calling all the shots? I mean, Rosie was a, was a librarian, wasn't she? Rosie's, uh, she's leading her own uh, Bonnie and Clyde fantasy. And from what I've seen, she's, she's close to meltdown. And if she's confronted... I'll be conducting this operation personally from Brooklyn. Sir, they've found Alex's car. It's in Bundina. The locals are keeping it under surveillance. South, Jack. They're heading south. Nobody's been near the car since it was spotted. Okay, let's go. Clear for about 500 metres, they're going to keep searching, though. Right. Now listen, Jack, you remember you told me that Sophie was bleeding from the mouth? Okay, maybe they can explain the blood in the boot. All right, maybe she's all right. Maybe they haven't dumped her anywhere at all. Yeah, maybe. Look, we found some fresh tyre tracks up here, okay? Now, this is my guess. Brett's driven here, changed cars like he said he was going to do, and he's just kept moving. I'm not thinking straight. Brett said he was going to swap cars. Now, why would he say that in front of me? Maybe he screwed up. No, no, he, he wasn't that far gone then. This is a bloody decoy, right? They've swapped cars. Brett's mate has driven this one here. Brett's gone north. OK, let's get on to Hawker. Tell him it's still Brooklyn. OK. Well, keep me informed. Cheers. What? I uh, drew a blank on caravan parks, likewise stolen boats, Jack. She, she could have bought one. Yeah, and nothing on purchases or registered moorings, Jack. What's the story, Mick? No one remembers seeing Rosie. OK. Well, they weren't planning to leave by water. OK. Look, have we checked the petrol stations, the supermarkets, the hairdressers? Was oh, she getting her hair done, was she, Jack? Look, she spent time here. She had to if she was going to set something up. Even if it was a spare set of wheels, she would have needed somewhere to park it. Brett would have known we were onto the seaplane straight away, Jack. Right. Well, they weren't interested in buying time. Just enough to get here and collect whatever Rosie had organised, all right? You're right. I don't have a bloody clue. This is stupid, Helen. I should be out there. Alex, oh. you've just had a nasty knock on the head. You are yeah. not superwoman. Now, there's that long list of acquaintances of Brett you should be calling. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's my super speedy dialing finger. You're right. Yeah, I'm all right. Hey, Matthew? Sarge? Yep. I just want to know why we have been singled out here. 
Oh, you've been singled out, have you? Well, yeah, we have. We were briefed on the Brooklyn operation before and now we've been cut out. Oh, don't get paranoid. I pulled you off that. Well, what do we do? Look, it's just that there's a harbour out there, possibly seething with crime, and I just thought it would be a good idea if there was someone here to deal with it. Yeah, right, so. so we've got a domestic situation on a houseboat at Middle Harbour and the Single marina down at Rose Bay is being graffitied. Well, it's not exactly a manhunt for natural-born killers. Really? Yeah, well, get yourself lucky, mate. You get to see the storm. Okay, tonight. thank Shouldn't you me, very God. much, Barawa. Hey. They got a road service driver at Barawa Police Station who was assaulted this morning on the old Pacific Highway. Yeah, it was about 8.30. I got the call uh, to the old highway just outside Cowan. Um, there was a woman. She... What name did she give? Uh, Rosemary Callahan. Uh, yeah, no, she'd been on the computer, you know, been a member for years. But when I get out there, you know, it's not her car. You know, a different make and Rego. Uh, so she apologises, you know, says it's her mate's car. And he was in the back, and he looked as sick as a dog. Well, was there a young girl there, about 18 years of age? No, no, just just uh, the woman and the guy in the back seat. Look, I explained to them, I can't fix a vehicle unless your mate's, you know, willing to sign up on the spot. And the next minute, like I'm staring at a gun. So I didn't need any more encouragement than that. I, I fixed the bus radiator hose, and um, she hit me with a tyre lever. OK, we're on our way. Jack, a bloke in Brooklyn just identified Rosie. He rented a holiday cottage to her about a month ago. Rentals are the first thing that we checked. I mean, how come it's taken this long to surface? It was a private letting. The owner works in Sydney. You know, they only just got in contact with him, Jack. Get hold of Helen. Get her to do a rego check on the car. Okay, sir. Police! Police! Jack! Sir. The rego's clear and there's nothing in the car. Jackpot. And we're here ahead of him. No, Brett won't come in now. He's run at a time they're long gone. Well, you're right, Jack. They're heading somewhere specific. Cars clean. Child model, new tyres. They wouldn't have been here five minutes. They'd be in the untraceable car and gone. What about the car? Has it got any sleeping bags or anything? Camping gear? No, no, apparently it's clean. Well, Rosie knew they weren't going to rough it, so wherever they're headed, it's got to be at least a day's drive. I'm going to have to risk a chemist or a doctor, love. I need some morphine. Broke, sweetheart. Your stupid mate took all the money we had for this piece of junk. Yeah, well, it's a seller's market when you're on the run, love. We'll rob a chemist. <laughs> I'll do it. I've been dreaming of doing it. I won't kill anyone, I promise. Yeah, why? Why? <laughs> why the hell not, eh? Then when we get to paradise, it'll just be the two of us, all right? And you can trust me on that, too. Listen, I'm sorry, love. I really am. It's bloody stupid. We'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're wasting resources. Hey, Jack, I'm not psychic like you, mate. Brooklyn, that is the only lead that I've got. You're tying up manpower. They're not going anywhere near Jack, Brooklyn now. We lost them. They're killing people with their own weapons. No more hunches, no more stuff-ups. That's Look, it. Look, Riley's theory was right. Less than a day's drive, Jeff. Or they could be at the Queensland border. Or maybe they've doubled back. Only this time they really are heading Brett won't risk that now. He was counting on a car we couldn't trace. And he didn't get it. Right. Brett Kimball. Last time Brett escaped was eight years ago. His cellmate at the time's back inside. 
Brett's had two other soulmates during his latest stint. Okay. Well, let's see what they have to say about this special place that you think exists. Jeff, they've brought in Sharon Moore. Brett's de facto. She was. She dumped him when he went back into the nick. Okay, I'll talk to her. I want Mick and Alex to do it. Oh, come on, Jeff! Hey, if I could think of a way of doing it, Jack, I wouldn't have you on this search. You're too close to it. I want you at arm's length. I know, Sharon! Oh, precisely. We want her cooperating, mate. We don't want her holding old grudges. That way, Sheriff. I haven't seen him in four years, and I haven't spoken to him in two. You don't have much luck with boyfriends, do you? Yeah, I mean, your last boyfriend, he went in jail about a month ago, didn't he? I never learn. It's quite simple, Sharon. If you know where Brett is and you keep your mouth shut, it's accessory to murder. Now, I don't think he's worth it, do you? You're going to charge me, are you? Because I don't have to wear this. Sit down. Sit down, Sharon. This has gone nowhere. Eight years ago, you and Brett were still pretty tight. And he escapes? I had nothing to do with it. Read the file. He escapes and he disappears for about two months. But he gets caught when he comes to pay you a visit. Brett's a romantic son of a bitch. Dickhead. But Where was he for two months? No idea. Oh, it had to be good. Someone had to set it up for him, paved the way. I don't know where he went. He never told me. OK, when we prove otherwise, you're going down, Sharon. This time it's murder. Had to be an accident. Brett never hurt anyone in his life. Sharon, Brett's been shot. If we don't get to him first, then he's going to die. So tell me where he went. Don't know. Right. She knows something. You blew it. I don't think so, Jack. Oh, she knows something. Oh, that's right, Jack. We're the B team, aren't we? You let the little smart ass walk all over you. She knows something. Listen, I want you to be right. I wanted Brett and Rosie to be in that house in Brooklyn, and I certainly want Sophie back alive. Right? But one thing, it's not going to make it happen, and it's certainly not going to make Sharon Moore the informant that we hey, need. Why, that's enough. That's Listen enough. To me. Listen, Helen, Brett made a phone call from my place, hey? So who did he phone? I mean, who is this mystery man? Jack, he made a call to a black town pub. Now, the barman doesn't know who took the call, OK? You're tired, you're hungry, you need some sleep. Listen, have something to eat. Go home, get some sleep. Oh, you sleep. Well, you're not going to be much use to Sophie without it, are you? Look, you take him home now. Okay. Jack, do it. Do it. Please, do it for me. Hey, Jack. Want me to try and cook you up something? It's not really my style, but you know, for no, you... No, no, look, uh, thanks for the lift home now. You can piss off. You know, it's pointless blaming yourself. Look, it, it doesn't matter. If she wasn't my daughter, she wouldn't be in trouble. OK, you get some sleep, huh? Yeah, Hawker's just as likely to let me sleep, so if anything breaks, will you let me know? Yeah, I promise. I'll get it. Okay, Christy? Yeah, come in. This is uh, Alex Sinclair, uh, Detective Alex Sinclair. This is uh, Douglas Ferguson, Sophie's dad. Uh, Alex is working on the case. My sympathies, we're doing our best. I'm sure. Look, I called your station as soon as my plane got in. They said you'd gone home. Did Colin come down or? Uh, too upset. Look, you don't look like you're up to it, but I have to know exactly what happened. Look, I'll call you later, huh? Yeah, sure. Uh, come through. No. They had a plan to escape. The plan went wrong. I didn't ever intend to take hostages. Just bad luck, was it? Uh, there's a thing, sir. She wasn't meant to be here. She was on her way to Goulburn to check out the university courses. The University of the Police Academy. Yeah, that's right. I don't want her to join the police force. I've done everything I can to talk her out of it. I didn't know that. You know it now. Well, they heard her. A 
Brett won't hurt her unless... He won't molest her. He's not a killer. <sighs> a man's dead. The woman is dangerous. <sighs> I wish to God Sophie had never met you, Jack. True, this man escaped because of police negligence. There'll be a full inquiry into the circumstances, Mr. Ferguson. Our prime concern at this moment is to get your daughter back. I warn you, if anything happens to Sophie, I won't rest until whoever is responsible pays for it. I understand and I sympathise with your anxiety. We are doing everything in our power to get your daughter back. Have they made contact yet? You can tell me that, can't you? No contact has been made. Mr. Ferguson, you must understand that there has been no ransom demand. It's insurance. If Brett sees his way clear, he may well let Sophie go. So the greatest risk to my daughter is if you people catch up with him? Sir, I... Please, sit down. Yeah, there's been an attempted burglary at a medical centre on the central coast, Tupli, I believe. Right. Has there been a sighting? Well, no guarantee that it was Brett or Rosie, but we won't know till we get there. Where's Jack? Well, I decided to leave him at home sleeping until something broke. Right. Get out there and see what's going on. OK. Ah, oh, Sharon. Uh, I know it's late, but uh, can I have a word? Peace off. Good enough. He can't do this. You see, I don't really give a stuff about anything at the moment. Because your ex and his loony girlfriend have got a gun at my kid's head, and my better judgment is on hold. Get out! Where is he? I don't know. That's not good enough. He won't do anything. Oh, you're not listening to me. <laughs> you see, to save my kid, I'd go inside if I had to. You look at my face. Oh, God. Where is he? Please. Okay. On the count of five. One, two, three. All right! Eight years ago, we used a place at Paradise Beach. Back in the bush. You drive over the bridge. Half a mile down, there's a track on the left hand side. A tree with lot 15 painted on it. Yeah, it's Mick. Where the hell are you, Jack? You're meant to be in bed. Where are you? I'm at Tookley. Someone tried to knock off the medical centre. You know, the alarm scared them off. The owner lives next door. He saw a woman driving away. Now, the car matches the description the road service guy gave us. What about Sophie? Any sign of her? No, no sign of her, mate. You just saw a woman driving away. Look, it sounds like Rosie. Did they get any drugs? No, she didn't get any drugs. That's all I want to know.
Jack Sinclair. I hope you pair aren't on your way back to Sydney. Yeah, what are you up to, Jack? Yeah, listen, this place is called Paradise Beach. You go about half a mile past the bridge, there's a track to the left. You look for a tree with lot 15 painted on it. I'm at the end of that track. So is Brett's house. Uh, Paradise Beach, need you turn. Tell him to stay where he is. Okay, Jack, you don't do anything. You hang tight till we get there. Yeah, yeah. You're a bloodhound, Christy. Where are they? Who gave me up? Rosie's got the bloody guns, mate. Right. Where's my daughter? Shed out the back. Don't know. Okay. Where's Rosie? Tell me. Well, what, Jack? Look at me. What are you going to do to me? Come and Jack. What have you done to Brett? Nothing. Liar. Jack. Shut up! I came on my own. All I want is my daughter. Drop the gun. Yeah, all right. Listen to me, Rosie. You see this? This will take Brett's pain away. I want to swap it for Sophie. But if you pull that trigger, I'll drop this. And it's all over, Rosie. Yeah. Drop the gun. Kick it over here. Now get over there. Get down. Now give it to me. You have to trust me, Rosie. I can medicate him. Move. Just you. I'll do whatever I can, Rosie. Oh, I want to save you, right? Okay. I'll patch him up. I'll help you get him into a car, and then you can drive wherever the hell you want to. You wouldn't like my book, Jack. You wouldn't like it. Too many big words, you ignorant bastard. Gotta finish it. We'll finish it together, love, when we get out of here. That's all I want, Rosie. Is you two always safe for my daughter alive? Oh, yeah. There goes the pain. <laughs> not a bad way to die, eh? You're not dying. He's not dying! No, it's just the painkillers. You lying bastard. Brett! You just get over there. Get over there! He's cold. It's the drugs. He's resting. This is brilliant. It's gonna make us a fortune. It's gonna buy us a real life. I've always loved books, people's lives. He's had a real life, a real passionate life. 
Haven't you, darling? Brett? Why won't you wake up? Like I said, it's the drugs. You're lying. Look, Rosie, I'm not a doctor, but I can get you one. How? Okay, there's a phone in my bag. One call, I can get a chopper here with a doctor on board. Right, they can treat Brett while they fly you wherever you want to go. Do you think I'm stupid, Jack? Look, there'll be no cops. They won't risk Sophie and me. I came here to save her. Do you think I want to risk her life now? What do I do, Brett? You decide, Rosie. You're the only chance he's got. Inspector, yeah, this is Christy. Uh, this is the situation I don't have time to explain. They say if they see any police presence that they'll kill us. Right, you, you just keep them busy, Jack. We, we'll be ten minutes, ten minutes away. Yeah, just have the chopper fly north to Paradise Beach and then ring me on my mobile. Gotcha. How long? Twenty minutes. All right, move over there. Just hang in this way, Aunt. I'm gonna be leaving in style. When we get there, we'll disappear just like you wanted. Okay. I think we're the last chap. I suppose you bought the chopper. Now there's backup and an ambulance on the way. You okay? What the hell happened out there? Well, they had Sophie in the shed. Oh, I got out and got a lighter from the car and lit some drums of fuel they had stored there. What about him, Jack? He's gone. It wasn't the painkiller. It was the blood loss. You could have been saved. You did this, Rosie. No one else. Does it have much? Oh, no, no. I've had worse. <sighs> well, you did well. How do you reckon I'm gonna make a good cop then? Mm. We were lucky. Yeah, yeah, we were. Yeah. So I um I thought I'd lost you, you know, and uh, we'd just come into each other's lives and Dad. Sophie. Oh. oh god, I thought I'd lost you. <laughs> 